What is up, Oswald? This is Oswald Factor here. Welcome back to another episode of Dramatic Community Reconnect. As today, we are going to be beginning, be, be beginning, that is so weird to say, Meek's route, which is, I think, the pink one. I hope that's correct. And you know what? I kind of like what we're doing. We're going with the good route. We're getting, I like to remember it with good memories first, rather than like ending it off on a, I don't know. I don't want to start off on a sour note. That's all I'm saying. So, that's how I feel. I'd rather start off with the good and then finish it off with the bad. Kind of like I did in the past game. But, well, sort of. And it's to a certain extent, except it was all by accident. It's just, uh, yeah, I I don't know. I think it's just better for me to get a good understanding after the good ending. You know, I like to get all the lovey-dovey stuff and all that out of the way. Even though some of this didn't turn out lovey-dovey, most of it turned out to be, uh, what's the best way to put it? Kinky. Or, like, one of you awesome said it turned out minky. I, I, that's terrible. I know it's terrible, but it's still wonderful. But anyways, awesome ones, I think we should do the good route, but I'm not sure. You awesome ones are, like, half and half when it comes to this, so... However this go, I, I don't know. Good first or bad first, let me know. I think it's still going to be half and half, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine starting the good route, honestly. I, I'm fine starting the bad route either, but right now, I just want us to go the good route. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Meek's route. Good route, in fact. As assuming the game doesn't fool us or anything. I want to see Mink. Well, that's straightforward. You're not even straight out, but what are you talking about? I mean, <laughs> you shouldn't be saying things like that. So direct. <laughs> That was terrible again. I'm sorry. When you're like half asleep, I didn't sleep at all. And it's like 6, 8, 7, 8, what is it? 8 a.m. I think. I'm like half asleep, so I'm going to probably be saying some weird stuff. And if I do, I apologize. Oh, let's be real here. I always say weird stuff. I'm just going to be acting weirder, possibly. Just giving you a heads up ahead, you know, ahead of time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm already screwed up a lot. But anyways, what was going on in his mind? I wanted to know how he felt about me. <laughs> Now I'm getting memories of dramatical murder. How do you not know how he actually felt about you? I mean, I think he made it pretty clear, no pun intended, on what he, well, what he felt about you, honestly. And let's be real here. He felt a lot of you up. He felt that booty up multiple times. In fact, I think more than anybody in the dramatical murder routes, from what I remember... Even though the bad route he didn't, and the good route he definitely did. Oh my goodness, I, I just thought about the bad route. I wonder how that's going to go, but we're talking about the good route. Good route he did you a lot. So he felt a lot of you. So I don't know what you're talking about. He already felt a lot of you. That's what I'm trying to say here. No pun intended. I'll decide it for myself. Not desire. Desire's not deciding at this time. We are. The real Alba? I don't know. I I soon I know there's desire Alba, but what's the other Alba? Like what's the Alba we all know and love? Or most of us all know and love. What is that? Is it it just can't be Alba? Is there like normal Alba? Like what is it consider what, what's his name, I wonder? Like there has to be different versions, you know? Uh, there is different versions, which is why I'm kinda confused, but Cause he's just not Aoba, he's some form of Aoba. I, I, anyways, you, you probably understand what I'm trying to say, but... And I want to go after him. Oh, well, Aoba Setagaki, or is that his last name? I don't know. I'm, my brain is like half dead, so please give me a break. I can't remember everything. I, I hate when that happens. It's like I remember it, but then the next day I'm like, oh no, I forgot everything. I, who has that problem? I do. I obviously as a lot of you awesome ones can tell but meek is out there somewhere i just know it so i'll go looking for him i won't give up until i have proof that i couldn't possibly come to understand him he's definitely alive well i'm telling you this right now he's not in this country in fact if i remember correctly i made a prediction that he's in america or somewhere in north america in fact south america no because south america is not that flat there's a lot of rainforest and all so at least from my knowledge so I'm assuming he's maybe in Canada or like in North America, like in the northern states, maybe or like like in South Dakota, in those areas, you know, what I'm talking about. I, that's where I have the feeling he's at. Maybe Colorado, even though that's random. But anyways, we used to, I still I remember seeing mountains if I was correct there. So 
Yeah, that, that's my guess. But anyways, my change of course was more painful path than I had expected. I didn't have any hint as where to look or how to even find it. The only place I knew of that mink was deeply connected with, uh, co connect with what? Connected with was the scenery I saw when I used scrap on his mind. A vast plain where Toa had taken all of his tribe. Tribe? Wait a second. Tribe? It wasn't e an easy place to find. It could have been anywhere. But well, you said tribe. Where? Uh, uh, okay. He could be in North America or Canada. Now it seems logical. Um, Because in case some of you Austin's are not familiar with like American history... Like, Native Americans lived in North America. They are like, the first people to be there and everything before England came by and all. So, maybe he has, he's associated with North, that's weird, like, like with Native Americans and, yeah. Like, that could be the case. I, the thing is, I'm trying to remember anything from world history if there was, like, I know there's other tribes outside of, like, America, obviously. Like, there's some in South America and all, but... That's all I know of. Other than that, I'm not really sure. I'm not too knowledgeable on that, but it's just something to think about right now. For now, at least. Maybe we'll get a full... Maybe an answer that will fulfill our taste, I guess. I don't know. I talk a lot when I'm tired. As you can tell, when I finish work, I hold myself up in my room and search for any bit of news on me. How do you hold yourself up? Well, I mean, to be fair, though, it's like... <laughs> whenever we're on Mink's route, you should always hold yourself up, Aloba. You need to take care of your precious Abudi. Let's be honest here. <laughs> he wrecked it many times last time we played his route. Anyways, I got a rough estimate of how long ago Mink was in prison in the old resident district after he ran away from his homeland. Toa has said that his relatives had medical plants with a manipulative odor and, absolute, and an absolute faith in their god. I also went around looking for professionals while searching the net, and I fished around antique bookstore after books are looking for texts of foreign cultures. I, I wonder if that plant is actually like weed or something, you know? I mean, Native Americans, I'm pretty sure they know, like, they knew about cannabis and stuff like that. It's just something to think about. Again, food for thought, if you will. It must have been because of Toa's meddling that I found no solid information on Mink's family. All I got were rumors. Even though I didn't find anything, I built up the res to resolve the resolve, sorry, to take a journey from Mirojima. If I couldn't find anything here, I just needed to dig in deeper. <laughs> Don't go too deep now. You want to, you know, save that uh, booty for Mink later if you are planning to. Uh, but how can you do that if you hold yourself up, Aloba? <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> I didn't once think that it was possible for Mink to not be in this world. He could be an alien for all we know. That's a household possibility, I think. Wait, what? Oh, he's definitely here. We actually tried. Wow, we actually got out of Mirojima. I can't believe it. A child of distant lands believing that. No way, miraculously he gets this right. No freaking way. Maybe it'd be nice to have Clear out in to help us out, you know, and so just by ourselves. I'm pretty sure they didn't help out, but Clear could help. I mean, he's good at stalking people, you know. That's something he's just naturally good at for a lot of reasons. Anyways, with all that platinum gel was opened up, I took ten hour flight. Wow, holy crap, that is a long flight. Then transferred onto an hour long domestic flight. I finally reached a land that was different from Japan, as night and day, a place so vast it boggled my mind. America? It has to be America. Me, well, let's well, see, 10 hours away, is Japan? I'm not really sure, honestly. It could be in England for all, I, I don't think England had tribes though. I, I don't know. I, I, again, I'm not familiar with any other history, unfortunately so, but Mirojima's temperature was always on the low end, so even the air felt too dry. It made sense for Mink's homeland to be the same, but I felt like I didn't realize how large the country was. It has to be USA. Because that is like... Or Russia. Well, that doesn't make... It, no way Russia's 10 hours away from Japan, is it? No. I can't imagine Mink being Russian. What the hell? That, does, that doesn't sound... <laughs> you know, a lot of you also are probably cracking up about that right now. Can you imagine Mink as a Russian? I don't think he is, no. Even so, I'll, I couldn't go back. China, maybe? I don't. I honestly have no freaking idea. But when I left a town, 
uh, for a town close to the airport, I told myself that I couldn't let myself stop and began to ask around about his tribe. I had both land and my coil for translation, so whether it was English or Japanese wasn't an issue. Okay, that's our hint. English. So, we, we're either somewhere in Europe or we're in Hawaii, maybe? What? He could be Hawaii. He does have a little tan in his skin, so... But, I... I don't know. I don't see any, like, tribal tattoos on him if he's, like, related to a tribe in, like, Hawaii or something. So, I... He's not Samoan. I don't think he is. I, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm sorry, but I want to figure this out. I want to guess this before I'm revealed it, you know? I always... I'm that type of person, but I'll, I'll, I'll shut up for now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or it wasn't supposed to be. For some reason, my words never got through, so I had a hard... I had a... I had to explain myself with gestures, but people seem to understand when I explain the place's characteristics, so the translation proved to be to work well enough, sorry. <sighs> okay, it has to be America, because that's like the whole American thing. There's people who think America's the best and it's perfect, but... You know, after all, it's just, eh, it, that, it needs to improve on a lot of things, but it's still really great, but yeah, yeah like, like, like what Ren said, that's what I'm trying to say. And it's big. Maybe that's why Mink is so big down south. Wow, I never thought about it about that. Like, Mink could definitely be, oh, he could be a Texan, because, you know, he has a big thingy down south. You know, we everything's bigger in Texas, as they say. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just, again, uh, food for thought. Or I guess you're drooling thinking about it for thought? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. What the hell am I talking about? The first day I was jet lagged hard. So I found nothing. I went to some tiny shop that night and bought some candy that came with a riddle and some water. Then slept in some cheap motel. You got be careful, but you better defend yourself. Those, i seen too many horror movies to know where this could go. Just saying no pun intended but it was insanely cold that night and just got awful okay so it's cold so it can't be texas it can't be hawaii either so those two are out of the equation so it could be colorado or like the northern states or canada canada's pretty big too but anyways morning came along and i continued my search but everyone was so cold and angry and would walk away like i was some thug yeah when you have like colored hair or something people are gonna give you the look if you know what i mean they'll be like especially like the older people who don't understand like our generation the millennials you know they'll uh yeah they'll give you that cold shoulder if you will i would hear something that sounded like it was mink but it either turned out to be about someone else or it was a complete lie i'm not sure it happened i thought the old people Oh, I'm sorry, I said old people. I thought the people in the old residential districts sucked, but now they're almost saints. The place was full of animalistic rage and deception, unlike Mirojima. I realized I didn't know anything about the world around me and wandered from town to town looking for mink, but it wasn't all that bad. After a month or so, the atmosphere began to change. You've been here for a month already? Holy, how much, how much money did you save for this trip, I wonder? I mean, again, just, I'm just thinking about it, like, or in this case, minking about it. Oh my god, okay. You don't want me to do in this whole route <laughs> when it comes to puns. Anyways, it was probably because it was rare to have an outside visitor there. I had become used to coming to new places. When I came to visit a village, they took me in without batting an eyelash. I even abided by their rules and their ways of life. It was terrifying when I took my first step into the land, but that slowly started to change. The people here were honest with themselves and decided things for themselves. Good is good, evil is evil. Thievery and violence were common, but people spoke their mind and never seemed to hide their feelings. The divide between the rich and poor didn't exist, and they held their beliefs. Maybe I just... Maybe I looked like just a shell waiting to be hatched when I had come from Japan to them. I had soft hatchly, just taking his first steps. I had a vague feeling that this was where Mink had been raised. I didn't know if it was the exact place, but nonetheless, it seemed like it. Well, if everyone's speaking their mind, then yeah, that's... This is where Meek is from. Except, where the hell could that be? I want to know the exact damn location. Instead, it's like, oh no, some big country. Whatever the hell that is. But, it's not, yeah, it's... It has to be America or Canada. It's one of the two. There's no other one it could be, I don't think. 
It was on this one morning that I heard that someone had seen a man that resembled Mink. Oh, did you see his uh, oval tower? Did ya? Did ya? Yeah, you did. Maybe I don't know. You say you saw a good resemblance. I'm assuming. All right, what the hell am I talking? You can tell I'm ready for something to happen soon enough, but I returned to the first town I visited, and for some reason, an acquaintance of mine called out to me. He said he saw a man that matched the height I described and had a large bird with him at a bar in a neighboring town. I immediately went there. I finally see him. My heart was bursting with anticipation, but life isn't that fair. There wasn't anyone that there that looked like Mink. When I asked the customers, I was sure he was there, but it seemed that he left 10 minutes before I got in there. Oh, that means you're not far behind. That's a good thing. I burst out of the bar and searched the streets, but he was gone, almost like a ghost. I wasn't able to find him anywhere. He was nowhere to be found once again. There was no information I could use to find him. When I chased after him, he disappears. It was like he was always one step ahead of me just to avoid me entirely. That's typical old Meek right there. Me, so I, I'm pretty sure it was just a natural thing for him just to like plan ahead of time. He's good. His, his instincts are great is what I'm trying to say. But it boosted my confidence further and filled you with determination. And I'm sure Meek's love juice will fill you with a lot of determination as Mean Daddy always fulfills everybody's abuti. Okay, well, that's a really weird way. But <laughs> I'm sure if he did outside of, you know, Aoba's abuti, then... Yeah, everyone will be filled with determination. I'm sure. <laughs> what am I talking about? God damn it. What am I talking about? Meek is alive and he's here. But I didn't see him. He had no intention to see me after he dissolved his own team, Scratch. But it didn't mean that I could give up after coming all this way. Since I knew Meek was definitely here, I had no fears. I tirelessly chased on after him. I barely... I had baseless confidence. I would see him for sure. Cross the fingers also. We're, 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 we know we're going to see him, but... And so, I chased after Mink. I hunted down any mention of him, and then I found that place. The burning forest that I had seen from Mink's past. The forest is still sacred, or scarred, I'm sorry, with scorched earth and fallen trees silently standing over. There is thick greenery covering it up, but its past wounds painfully stand oh. out. How long did it take for all this to grow over and cover its scars? My chest burns thinking of it. This was something... Mink experience, not me, but no. That means even more. The sight of the forest living in both the past and the future is somewhat sad. I squint my eyes as a light breeze blows through the leaves. At that moment, <gasps> I heard. Did you hear those noises? No pun intended, but did you hear that? I I'm pretty sure it's not Mink. I'm pretty sure it's not Mink. There's no way. Right now. I just saw it. An animal, I'm sure. A stature I knew. A back I knew. A walk I knew. That was just now, surely, in the oh. trees. Oh. That was really him? Holy shit. I ran all down the thought in my head. Dirt flying and piles of leaves scattering. I ran under the shadows of the trees above. I run without remembering to even breathe. The winning force, the whining force, whatever word that it is, unexpectedly accepts me with the kindness. The figure I'm looking for isn't in sight. Where did he go? Which way? I have no idea, but he definitely went that way. What I've been looking for is... You gotta be careful, but there's bears out here. I'm not sure if there's any in Japan, but there's bears out here. <laughs> Assuming you're in a forest after all. <laughs> Breathless, the forest ends, and I stop my feet at the open scenery in front of me. I lose any words I had. This. The scenery. <gasps> I realized I'd stop breathing and take deep breaths. Gasping, I bring my head up. Wow. Okay, we're, we're in Alaska, Canada, or Colorado, or just one of those states up, like, in the central northern area of North America. Like, we have to be. There, I can't think of any other place. Like, we're not in South America. There's snow on the mountains. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm taking guesses at this point. I'm probably wrong, but... <sighs> breeze blows my hair forward almost murmuring to me the endless red earth is covered with a thick green forest met by rocky mountains is that the hint that you're trying to give me is it in colorado actually it would make sense because you know that magical uh plant or whatever they want to call it i mean, it would make sense it comes from colorado just pointing it out there it would make perfect sense 
too much sense maybe i don't know but the morning glow illuminates the sky the image almost like a picture expands before me the cold air is different from the villages and towns i had visited it's clear no pun intended and barely a chill i finally made it here and then mink 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 your hair is, is there red in it a tint of red or is it just like light brown i can't tell but the man who i was always chasing after as if he was a phantom is standing in front of you know what you gotta do alba you gotta surprise attack him with a hug or i don't know something else i don't know use your imagination i finally found him i caught him at last he slowly turns his head back when he hears my footsteps mink mink mink's bird Perch on his arm, flop its wings, and flies into the sky. I finally meet him after searching him for all this time, but that isn't just it. His hair, it's flowing, it's beautiful. Mink probably came out for me. Oh, he's gonna come out many more times on your face and your booty, but soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> you know what, I I didn't mean it like that, obviously. <laughs> I guess he would have called it running out of patience or made just a simple shock. But it doesn't matter. I wanted to see him, and I won the game of endurance. It may even be a feat to have won against him. I stare at his changed appearance, and my eyes begin to burn. My vision blurs. I held back the tears as I ran after him. I came to tell him something. Are you going to slap him for all the stuff he's done to you in the last game? I mean, I'm surprised you didn't do... Well, uh, if you can slap him, I mean, you can slap him with your uh, oval tower, or you can slap him with your hand. Your choice, either way, I think... Both might work. Maybe the Oval Tower worked more. Maybe. That's actually a bigger maybe. Anyways, that has that his life isn't over. This is the start of a new one. Oh, cowboy boots. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. He's either in one of the Dakota areas, or he's in Colorado, or he's in Texas, or maybe Oklahoma? Maybe a big maybe on that? Definitely not Kansas. I don't know. It has to be Colorado. It has to be Colorado. It only makes perfect sense now. But at the same time, it's like they're not the only ones who wear cowboy boots a lot. Like, I know that for sure, but... Riding in the gentle wind, the familiar scent drifts to my nostrils. The familiar scent of cinnamon. Cinnamon mink daddy! <laughs> I cry, overridden with emotion. Those beautiful yellow eyes! <sighs> I just... <laughs> I kind of referenced something there. I'm not sure if you also got it, but classic movie. Anyways, when I reach Mink, I still feel like I'm going to burst as I look up to his face. He looks different. His clothes, his hair, and his eye color. Camera John, are you crying? Are you filled with emotion? Because I am too. <laughs> okay, awesome ones. Can we agree? All Can all of us agree that... This is adorable that Cameron is just blushing right now over this. I knew you had a thing for Mink, son. I knew you did, Cameron John. You can't hide it from me. And obviously, you can't hide it in front of everybody else. But that's okay, because this is a beautiful sight. This is so beautiful. This moment is beautiful. Maybe this is the most beautiful moment so far in Jeronical Murder Reconnect. Just maybe. We'll find out. But... His closest area. Oh, yeah, I already said that. His eyes used to be a dark blue, but they're now gold, similar to his hair, and a whole. a tender sadness. His eyes capture me. I know, it's beautiful! I think he changed. Or maybe he was wearing contact lessons the whole time. That could have also been the case. I don't know why he would wear contact lessons. Uh, lessons. What am I <laughs> Lenses, but. I don't know. Mink's an interesting person. He's very unique, to say the least. He has interesting techniques on disguises. So, saying that, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually wore contact lenses at Mirojima. But anyways, as I look into them, I'm confused whether or not he's another person for a second. But he's definitely Mink. There's no mistake. He doesn't say a word and silently looks down at me. His eyes neither look accepting nor rejecting. Just a cold, emotionless stare. When you say he's looking down on you, do you mean he's like actually looking at you in your eyes? Or is he looking down at the booty or possibly, you know, your junk from Haybon? 
just point it out there. Which one is he looking at? Make it clear. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's so terrible. I'm sorry. But the loneliness, the silence, and the peace after everything ended, that's what it seemed like. It isn't overwhelming. But I avert my eyes all of a sudden, feeling anxious. I'm not scared or anything. I'm just mentally strained after seeing Mink again. What is he thinking right now? What's going on in his head? I want to know. And honestly, it's kind of scary. Yeah, thinking about what could be going on in his head. I'm, I'm sure a lot of blood's going to that head, if you know what I'm trying to say. The other head. Awesome ones. Come on, you know what head I'm talking about. But it's an even stronger feeling than how happy I was after seeing him again. Oh, so you are happy right now. Oh, no wonder he's looking down on you. <laughs> That's, I, God, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. No regrets, but feeling even if I didn't understand mixed together as the sound of wings flapping over my head. A familiar large bun, a large bun, <laughs> what? A large bird comes down and rests on Minx's shoulder. Wow. No, Holy crap. You're like, what? That's such a weird, okay. So, that. Okay, he is Native American. I'm 100% sure he's a part of a Native American. And his hair is a little bit tinted red in the bottom. So, I was around two things, but I, I'm calling it right now. It has to be Colorado. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like, I want to say I'm like 90% sure it's in, he, that he was, uh, he's a native to Colorado. He's from Colorado, which is kind of strange. I don't know for some reason. To me, it's just a little bit strange, but it makes sense actually thinking about it. But I'm pretty sure he's a Colorado native if you will but anyways i was saying i was gonna say this because it's kind of weird like his outfit it's outdated it looks outdated it looks like something you buy out a retro store but it's weird because it's like it's a common it's a combination of like the native american past but also a combination of like the colonial past like those two colliding it's the buttons obviously but that make it look like it's weird so it's such a weird combination that i don't know what to think he looks more gentleman like Weird enough. I'm not sure. Like, more of a loyal person. I don't know. Does that make sense? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. His words leave me in complete shock. It made me question myself after coming all this way to see him again. But at the same time, I expected him to say something along those lines. No matter how many times I asked myself, there was only one answer. Mink's real intention was... Don't... I hope it doesn't start with an R. Because he already did that, like, what? Two or three times to you already? Not again. Please, not again. Don't make it a third or fourth time, please. My throat tightens up and the words spill in my mouth. <laughs> we all wanted to see you, Mink. I thought that the whole way here, but still incredibly hard to say it directly. Mink just raises an eyebrow and looks at me. I'm not scared any longer and sort of feel calm now, but... Why is he, why is breathing still so difficult? Because he captured your breath. That's what happened. That's what Mink does best. We all know this by now. Mink gaze, Mink's gaze, sorry, falls to his feet and then comes back to me after a pause. So demanding. That's the first thing, he, the, that's the second thing he had to say to me is to go home. Do you not love me? <laughs> At least he recognized me, but what the hell? It's another clear hit, no pun intended, to my heart. But it wasn't unexpected, because maybe he feels that way. Maybe he's rejected me after seeing each other again. The fear pricks at me like sharp thorns. I steady myself and set my eyes on me. Maybe? Maybe?俺があんたの情報を聞きつけて追いかけて。いつも住んでのところで買わされてた。つまり、俺に絶対に合わないようにすることだってできたはずだ。俺は。The wind blows across the clear sky, no pun intended, once again, and against Mink's wide back. It tampers with his hair while I gather up the strength in my fist. あんたとオーバルタワーで分かれて、タワーが崩れても。well, you did separate your oval tower. Well, he separated his oval tower from your <laughs> collapse of booty. We all know that already, Aoba. Oh my goodness, just thinking about it. But 
I, I, I'm going to take a guess here. I could be wrong, but I might be right too. Because to me, it makes sense right now. Throughout that dialogue just happened, here's what I'm thinking. Or in this case, this is what I'm minking here. Is that I think Mink, the reason he wanted to avoid us and tell us to go home because maybe, just maybe he's a really nice guy and he regrets everything he did to us in Dramatical Murder. And you know what stuff I'm talking about in the drug club and then I'm sure, yeah, it was inside uh, Glitter. I try was there another place he did? Uh, he probably did. I just can't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was only two times, but I know he might have regretted that. So maybe that's why he wants us to go home because he feels ashamed. But maybe that could be the case, but maybe that's wrong. To me, that makes sense, but you never know. I guess we're about to find out. Because you're the ghost, the legend. The myth. I said that backwards. I don't know why. Yeah, you're you suffered a lot, Aloba. I mean I don't blame you. I I would want to know why too. But But I mean, to a certain extent, I understand, but was that really the best way to pull out desire? Well, I mean, it is desire after all, and desire is kind of rough. So saying that, no pun intended once again, so saying that, uh, I can understand that maybe it was actually the best way to getting desire out. Because, yeah, desire is a rough person, as we can tell from Noises Bad In and Dramatical Murder Reconnect. After what just happened, well, not not noises bad in. Well, that one too, to a certain no, well, not more like that one, but definitely more like Kojaku's. Yeah, definitely more like Kojaku's bad in in Dramatical Murray Connect. As we found out, when he's in full form, when Desire's in full form, he loves it super rough, like more rough than noise is what I'm trying to say, like a lot more rough. In fact, I don't know equally, I guess, because noise wanted it. He was killing himself, and then on the other hand, I hope it's, I don't want to compare like the pain, but I'm sure it's practically equal. Oh, that's just painful thinking about it right now. But like, I, it was the right way to get desire out, maybe. But was it really the best way? I'm not sure. それでも自分以外の人間への被害を最小限に抑えようとしてた。それが旧住民区に戻ってから分かって。でも分かった時にあんたはいなくて。I was gonna say that was literally again no pun intended, but that that is like literally the nicest way of putting it, honestly. 俺の中でいろんな感情がごちゃ混ぜになって。and your booty became a mess too. So I forget about that. Don't forget what he did to you, okay, Alba? Don't ever forget. <laughs> oh yeah, we all know his... Yeah, we all know that his love juice also piled up in you. <laughs> and you're doing that right now. This is true. But But Very true, Alba. I'm俺は心を決めることができた。あんたはあんたが背負ってる運命を受け入れて思うがままの道を進んだ。だからあんたみたいに俺は俺の道を行かなくちゃって。そう思った。少しだけ楽になって。Mink special juice and also special 
plant or whatever it is filled Aoba with a lot of determination, obviously. Poor Desire. He's probably screaming right now or pissed off or one of the two. I don't know. May screaming for Mink to wreck him. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Not for a little bit. He definitely recognized them. I, I can tell you that much. Without words, Mink stares at me. I don't see I don't see any hint of denial in his eyes. やっぱりさ。あんたを are you going to cry, Are you going to cry? I sat there and looked at Mink in the eye. That's why I came here. You are always looking for me. Oh. You are always looking for me. Why did I have a sense of fear? I didn't have anything to do with you. But... I really <laughs> he loves you, Daisuke. <laughs> he wants to know you. He wants to know you better. Saying each word wholeheartedly, I keep my eye right on Minx. I won't let him go again, and I won't go away either. That was what I meant by my words. <laughs> Minx just stares at me speechless, just like I expected, and then looks at me. Licks down once again, probably at that booty, and lets out a small sigh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did make a ballsy move. It might have been a foolish move, but it was bold, and you gotta give him mad props for that. Just saying, Mink. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to take those words, and Mink takes a step forward. Oh, no. I'm getting memories, also. Once I'm getting a little bit of memory, oh, bad memories, also. But he slips past me and walks along the amber ground. Oh, okay, well, never, never mind then. I call his name, thinking he was leaving me, and he looks back. His words come with a strong gust of wind to me. It feels like the clouds have finally cleared, no pun intended. I didn't know how he was going to answer to what I'd said, but he told me to follow him, and just that makes me happy enough. I think he's going to take us back to that village. I, I think that's what I'm going to call it right now. I walk towards the forest, falling after his long strides as Tori rests on his shoulder. His long hair is blown by the wind. It's golden, like it's reflecting the light. I watch myself as we make our way up the mountain and fall mink with high hopes in my chest. Oh, such a good reunion so far. I'm happy. As you can tell, I'm really happy. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh, we're alone. You know what that means, awesome one. Since we're alone with Mink in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we are going to have a wicked fun time. <laughs> Man, last time I seen like a log cabin, I think, weird enough, was either at Disney. I saw a log cabin, like at Disney World, because they had like some log cabin areas. And either then or it was when I was watching... Sword Online. It's so random. I know this is a complete random thing I'm thinking about. But yeah, Zero Sword Online or Disney World was the last time I saw an actual log cabin, either in animated form or in real life. <laughs> it's so weird. Anyways, what am I talking about? Once we come out of the forest, a single wooden cabin comes into view. Well, me does have a lot of wood. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't hold it in. I couldn't stay out with a straight face. It looks as if she just happened to be there and is standing alone amid the greenery. It looks big and strong. Yeah, I mean, it, it is Mink's wood. Like I said before, I could see that I was built with care. Mink stands in the doorway and opens the door without saying anything. Starting to breathe normally again, I walk in. Oh, oh, it's cozy in here. I love it. 
But anyways, awesome ones. We're going to have to stop it here. But I did hope you enjoyed this episode. A dramatic comedy reconnect. Meeks Raul. Good Raul. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Share the video if you enjoyed. Don't scare across. I'll see you later. With some Don Lanupa. Lamento and Diva Room? I hope so. And other than that, we're going to start a fourth Let's Play hopefully soon. Maybe next week or in two weeks. And we're going to have maybe a Skype hangout this weekend or next weekend. Still not sure on that yet. And I'm going to do a live Q&A at some point. Maybe this weekend or next week. But yeah, until then, I'll see you all later, okay? Love you. Don't forget to stay awesome.